Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a project so you can teach the plotting rainfall lesson plan. First I'll show you how to create a project within RStudio Cloud. I'll assume that you already have an RStudio Cloud account and a base project set up, but if you don't you can check out the Getting Started with RStudio Cloud tutorial on the R Girls website. And just to quickly show you how to find that, on the R Girls website that I have opened up here, we can go to the Getting Started tab, and here is the tutorial for that. In the second half of the tutorial, I'll show you how to create a project using R Studio Desktop. And for this one, I'll assume that you already have R and R Studio installed. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is go to the lesson plan on the R Girls website and download the necessary files. So here we can go lessons. I know this one is actually a geography lesson and here it is. So we can click on this. Now I've specifically chosen this lesson because for this one, you will need to download an RMD file and a CSV file. And the CSV file contains the actual data needed for this lesson. In most of the other lessons, you'll simply need to download the RMD file, but the rest of the steps will be the same so you can follow along. Okay, so if we scroll down just a little bit, we can download the zip file here that contains both of the files that we need. And if we open it up, we can see, yes, we have our CSV file and we have our RMD file. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just move these onto my desktop so I know where they are. And now we can go ahead and open up our Studio Cloud. So here I'm already logged in to my Green Oak Academy workspace. And you can see that I've already created one project, but now I'm going to show you how to create a new project on the cloud. So to do this, we can go new project and new our Studio project. Okay, so the, here the first thing I'm going to do is give my project a name. So let's call it plotting rainfall data. And now pretty much the only thing that we actually have to do is upload our files. So we can we have to upload them one at a time. So I'll go upload and choose file. And the first one I'll upload is the data set. So we'll upload this one. And now you can see we have our CSV file uploaded and also, of course, we want our markdown, which has the actual lesson plan. Okay, so if we just go ahead and open up the RMD file, here we can see the full script of the lesson plan. And we can even take a look at the outline uh, with everything outlined here. I'm not gonna go through the entire lesson plan, but I will show you that we can start running the code straight away. So for me, I'm able to just go ahead and run this first R chunk where we're loading in the libraries. Now this is where the base project comes in handy because I've already installed these two packages, Tidyverse and GGEasy. If you haven't created a base project, you may need to install these two packages first. Or another option is we do walk through the steps to setting up a base project in the getting started tutorial I mentioned at the beginning. Okay, and now I'm just going to scroll down to reading in our data here, just to show you why it's so necessary that we have our CSV file loaded in. So the, the line of code that we wanna run is right here on line 55. And if we scroll down, we can just copy and paste it. And now we can run this line of code. And you can see there's a read underscore CSV function, and this is going to read in our data set. And now this has to match what we have over here, right? So we have our rainfall underscore clean dot CSV, which is reading in our data set here. And now that we have it uh, loaded in, we can simply type in rainfall. And here we can see all of our data. So that's really, really awesome. and just a couple of steps to get you started. And now you should be able to go through the rest of the lesson within our Studio Cloud. 
Okay, so now let's switch over and we don't need our Studio Cloud anymore, but I will open up our Studio. So now we're going to go through the same steps, but using our Studio Desktop as opposed to the Cloud. All right, so now the first thing that we're going to do is create what's called an R project. So in this top right corner, we're going to click on the project button and we wanna create a new project. And by creating this project, we will, will allow us to keep all of our files for this lesson organized and in one place. So here we're going to click on new directory and new project. So here let's, give it a name, so rainfall data. And I'm actually going to save this straight on my desktop, but please make sure to browse and save, save this project somewhere safe and somewhere that you'll remember where it is. Okay, so once you're happy with that, go ahead and click Create Project. And now you can see it already tells us we're working within our rainfall data project. And now similar, to on the cloud, of course, we have to upload our files. So to do this, I'm going to minimize out of our studio and you can see we've created this rainfall data folder. And we did this when we created our project. So now all I'm going to do is copy and paste our files within our rainfall data folder. So now we can see when we go back to our studio, we have our CSV and our RMD file. As we were working on the cloud, we can open up our RMD. And of course, again, you have to make sure to have these packages installed. But once you do, you can start running your code. I'll let that run and I'll scroll down. And we can see we can read in the data in the exact same way and even take a quick look at our data. Okay, so that's great. And that's how we set everything up in RStudio. I'll just save this. And I do wanna quickly show you, if you close out of RStudio, working with the project is really nice because if you wanna open it back up at a later time, you can just navigate to the folder and open up this file that says R project or this R cube. And by doing this, we go straight back into our project and you can pick up where you left off. So that's all there is to it. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope you enjoy this lesson plan. Thanks so much for watching.